Sean Callahan here in Macon, Georgia at the Mercer Satellite Camp We're with Nebraska secondary coach Travis Fisher. Coach, this is your second year now going at it, kind of working these camps around the country. At a place like Central Florida, you guys really didn't have to do a lot of this. I mean, what's different about it in your perspective now being at Nebraska? I mean, being at Nebraska, you get a chance to travel and go across the country to some of these camps. Uh, being able to recruit nationally across the country has always been a bonus. It's been a bonus for us here in Nebraska. And... Um, these camps that we're going to, we get a chance to come down south. You know, got some in the Midwest. Uh, so we're kind of moving around a little bit, seeing talent all across the country. And you you were from the Tallahassee area, so this is kind of your your region. You you grew up around a lot of these kids in, in this camp. And, I mean, if anyone knows best, there's a lot of under-the-radar defensive back talent down here. I mean, how do you go about trying to find that every year? You just got to know what you're looking at. You just got to know what you're looking at. It's a lot of overlooked kids because of technique, maybe a little raw. And uh, most, most, most guys look at, only look at the ones that's already kind of polished. So uh, you got to know what you're looking at. And, um, you know, for the most part, I kind of know what I'm looking at. I know what I want. I know what will help us uh, here in Nebraska become a better secondary and a better team. Uh, so, you know, evaluating some of the talent down here, sometimes you got to know what you're looking for and what you're looking at and then what you can do, what you can add to that kid to help him become a better, better football player. And on top of town, how much is fit a big priority? When you when you try to find a kid from, say, South Florida or Georgia that's going to go to Nebraska, uh, how much of a, of a cultural fit, how important is that for you guys when you find those kind of guys? Oh, it's very important. First of all, you got to when you're finding a kid in, from South Florida or anywhere, you, you have to make sure it's a perfect fit for the, the kid and then perfect fit for your, your school and, uh, and your football team, what you're trying to do. And so the most part – most part, uh, just evaluating the talent is one step, but you also got to get to know the kid and get to know the family, um, and, and and see if and see if it become a, a perfect fit on, on both ends. Now your group coming back at Nebraska, you got a really really uh, experienced group returning. Uh, one of the guys that made a big jump though in the spring was Markel Desmuke. Uh What did you like about Markel over the spring, and what do you think he can bring at Nebraska going into his junior season? Markel just put his head down and worked. You know, the whole spring. Uh, asked a bunch of questions, stayed in the film room. I was a student of the game, uh, st- stuck around me the whole spring, came back at night watching film. Uh, he wanted to bring the guys together and watch extra film on his own. He wanted to be the one to run the meetings. He's matured so much. I'm so proud of him uh, and, and his growth over the spring and yeah. the off season. Deontay, too, another new safety that you're working back there. Um, got got some good experience last year. I mean, what kind of jump could he make in his junior season? Yeah, those guys, him and him and uh, this mute are guys that I have to I tell them to go home. They're in the office at night. I mean, they're after class and they finish doing what they have to do, but they're in the cl- they're in the office at night, and I have to get those guys. Hey, man, go home and get rest. But those guys have made big jumps in the secondary, and uh, looking for some great things from uh, both of those guys. Obviously. Uh, getting a chance to uh, bring along some of the younger guys along with it would make it would make it special. Obviously, two guys can't do it, but bringing some of the younger guys along and making it special. So it's a good group. And you're bringing in a really good group of freshmen, you know, and all of them have received accolades. But I feel like Quentin Newsom, you know, some people he's under the radar, or some people, but he's I know he's not under the radar for you. How excited are you about no. Quentin and what he's going to bring? No, I don't have a kid that I'm com- that's coming in this year that's going to be under the radar. I, Quentin Newsom is a special kid. He's going to be able to add some value to us right away. Um, he's on special teams, also on defense, um, great family. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting back and working with him and getting him in the film room when I can. And then also also um, Miles Farmer, uh, Noah Polar Gates, Javen Wright. Those guys, are they already moved in. They got the dorm room. They're in it together. So they already got it. They already got it, being close. And um, it's just natural. And, um, you know, credit to the, those kids and their families, man. They got All of them have great families. Um, mom and dad are awesome all across the board. And so no wonder those kids are already kind of made that jump without me even having to touch them yet, you know, really. And they all have length, too. I mean, uh, is that something that you identified? I mean, you wanted, like, the six one six two type of guy to bring into your room? Yeah, I wanted a guy with longer arms. I wanted a guy to be able to jack you up on line of scrimmage. I um, uh, wanted a guy to be able to jump. Big guy. Got to come up and tackle some of these running backs in the Big Ten. And, uh, you know, last year I had a little bit of that with Reed. But, you know, sometimes with Aaron Williams, sometimes, you know, it's a little small. He's a tough guy, played, played with his heart on the outside of his sleeve. But, but I wanted some bigger guys that also can move around and make some plays on the football. 
Now, Noah Paula Gates, he can play just about anywhere, but I know we discussed that you, you like him as a nickel right now. I mean, how do you see him fitting as a nickel uh, when you guys start camp and, and, and stuff here in August? I can plug him in at corner right away. I can plug him in at safety, and I can plug him in at nickel. Obviously, uh, being able, a lot of his attributes, he, he's a hard hitter. He's a big-time player. He's a, uh, he's a guy that you can send in and go, and go knock the quarterback. I, he, he can go uh, get up under two pick a ball, take it the other way. Um, just being able to play safety, being able to be, play safety and also being able to play corner, that nickel position is just perfect. It's the perfect fit. And then being a young guy that can come in right away and play um, any one of those three, any, any one of those positions is, is a bonus. And I think he can do it. And what did you learn about the Big Ten offenses? I mean, you probably had a perception coming in, and it's probably a little bit different now after a full year. What was the biggest thing you're like, this is way different than I was expecting in the Big Ten? Yeah, I thought it was a little bit more smash mouth, to um, be honest with you. But, you know, um, it was some teams trying to run a little spread, you know, which kind of surprised me. And then, um, you know, but, it was, you know, the Wisconsin's and stuff like that, they want to run the ball and run the, run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. But it was some teams, you know, Purdue and those guys was really try to run a little spread and try to, you know, spread you out a little bit. Um, so uh, that was, surprised me a little bit, and I was, I was happy to see that a little bit. And then it wasn't just boring football all day long. Um, it's kind of exciting, and you got the perfect guys for that. I got the perfect guys. I got guys, big guys that, hey, you want to be, uh, you want to run, 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 run. I got safeties big enough to come fit. And then, and then you want to pass. I got guys that move like corners. I got all of them. All of them move like corners. Really, so um, you know it's going to be interesting in, in camp and in all season how they just progress. You survived your first Nebraska winter too, and, and I, I got to apologize. It was probably the worst winter we've had here in a hundred years. Yeah, man. I, to me, to me, you know, I, I the, the Frost, you know, you know, and they paid me enough to get a jacket, you know. So, <laughs> um, but the most thing, you know, some important stuff is about the families and people that got affected by the floods and stuff like that. You know, I really. I really you know, have a soft heart for those people, and it's less about me. It's more about them, and, it's, you know, um, the main thing is just, you know, uh, when it's cold, put a jacket on, you know. Put a jacket on. If I don't have to be out there that long, I won't. Yeah, well, Coach Fisher, thanks a lot for taking some time with us here in, in uh, Georgia and look forward to seeing you back in Lincoln. Thank you.